Greetings, Poké fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokémon Insurgents! Let's play my very first journey through this critically acclaimed Pokémon fan game. If you have been enjoying the series, don't forget to drop a like, make sure you answer the comment question, and if you missed last episode, make sure you watch it so you know what this is, and what we're doing, and what's been done so far. <laughs> also, if you like this shirt, it's from my sponsor, Into the AM. If you want to pick up some of their stuff, link is in the description. Use code MJTV for 10% off. What was I gonna say next after that? I don't think there's a whole lot to say. Oh, I remember. Um, I saw a couple of people have mentioned like, please do post game stuff, like don't end it. And it's like, I am going to be doing post game content in this game. This, while this will likely be the last episode of the series, uh, last episode of the Pokemon League, if I don't lose, um, cause I've only got one elite four member left and the champion left, it is not ending. Uh, I'm going to do- I'm going to record a bunch of post-game content before I end this series. Um, but that being said, let's battle the final Elite Four member. Whoa, this is trippy. I don't know what to expect. But I do want to try and go for another Snorlax sweep. <laughs> Because that was a useful strategy in that one battle. I mean, it may not work, because one thing that helped with this, the last Snorlax sweep is that he had a super effective move for that guy's entire team. Um, and that may not be the case with this person, who I cannot tell if that is a boy or a girl. It's probably a boy, though, because we've seen two girls and one boy. It's a boy. Welcome! I speak for the mystic mind and the demon inside. Okay. <laughs> the darkness and the chaos within all of us. The beauty and chaos shows itself in my battling. Yeah, I'm gonna need to rewrite that. <laughs> God, that was pretentious. I need a new introduction speech. Sorry for putting you through that. Anyways, the name's London. Oh, we met his girlfriend? Sister? I don't remember. Pleased to meet you. Let's get the show on the road. My trick room team will stop you in your tracks. We might actually be able to beat him with Snorlax. We shall see. Belly drum first turn. Oh, okay. Whoa. Yes, let's go Snorlax. <laughs> Focus Blast? Can't believe that actually hit. And it was a crit. Lovely. Okay, well, uh, let's just Seed Bomb this thing. Because now this Trick Room, Snorlax is probably the fastest Pokemon out here. <laughs> Conkelder, nah. <laughs> Scizor? We are weak to Scizor. But I feel good about this. Drain Punch is neutral. Earthquake is neutral. Earthquake is stronger. Drain Punch will heal. Earthquake, I think, has a better chance to Oko. Oh, he's got priority. Okay, that's fine. This is the most fun I've ever had battling Pokemon. <laughs> okay, the Twisted Dimensions return to normal, unfortunately, so we do kinda need to heal again. Ha! What's the point of countering? I'm going to Oko you. Toge Kiss. Okay, this thing actually does resist all my hits, but I feel like we might still have a chance with our max attack. Dang it. That's fine. Okay, as long as we don't flinch. Let's go! Vegan MVP! Jellicent! 
Yeah, we'll go ahead and change. I know I've got the max attack, but like, I don't feel like wasting another potion, and I'm sure I can beat this thing with Telsa. As I said. <laughs> okay, disabled Thunderbolt, but the battle is over. <laughs> That went incredibly smoothly! <laughs> Man, I should have taught him belly drums so much longer ago. That is so good! <laughs> I do kind of need to heal his PP though, because he has used a lot of moves. What have you used? I have some elixirs though. Or at least... What do I have? I know I have at least one elixir, or max elixir or something. I have ethers. That's just one move? I have elixirs, okay, cool. All right, so he should now be full on everything. Yep, all right. You're pretty good. You're fine, you're fine. You should be fine. And you should be fine. Okay. Well. I guess we're gonna go battle the champion now, and I'm gonna actually attempt the Snorlax sweep again, just cause, uh, oh. Okay, well that's how we progress. Um, I'm gonna attempt the Snorlax sweep again, cause this is the final battle. His levels are, you know, like, the same as... Blastoise is, you know, it's not gonna scale, it's not gonna mess up the scaling of the levels, because this is the final battle! Something happened! Why are there three doors? Oh, I see. Those are the doors that were there before. I see. Who's the champion gonna be? Those are cool. Two Delta signs, a Mega Evolution sign, and a Yin Yang sign. Oh, this is the title music! The title screen music, that's cool. It's some generic veteran? I, this guy's sprite is everywhere. Surprised to see me. Oh, is this Rukra? Oh! Why would I, Rukra, be the champion? I don't even battle, usually I just send Tan to do my work. Spent my life seeking perfection. Deltas, Megas, Armors, Mewtwo, the entire fiasco with the Unova Dragons, it's all futile. Nothing's worked so far. Everything was strong, but just not strong enough. You know what the worst part was? How ridiculous people find our goals to be. This is true, we've never, we finished off the other four cult cults, but we never defeated anyone in perfection except Tay and we never battled Rukra. So is this how we beat the last cult? That's awesome! How ridiculous people find our goals to be. No Pokemon is perfect, it's impossible. Anything can be beaten with a good tight matchup, high stats, and appropriate moves. And you know what? Maybe they're right. But we've taken the wrong approach to this. A perfect, unbeatable Pokemon. It's kind of a stupid thought. After all, a combination like Destiny Bond and Shadow Tag can take anything out. Easily. But a strategy that can take out a perfect Pokemon can't take out an entire team. I'm realizing this now. Having one powerful Pokemon doesn't make you perfect. It can still be beaten. But a team of powerful Pokemon, perfectly synchronized, each covering each other's weaknesses and increasing their strengths, a team like that could have no weaknesses. It could be undefeatable. It could be perfect. And now, with that team, oh boy, I am perfect. So bring it on, Michael. You want to be the champion of the Tauren region? Be my guest, but you'll have to be the person who's beaten the Elite Four before you with their perfect team. Get ready to lose. This is terrible. What is wrong? <laughs> oh my god, his eyes are huge. That's hilarious. Oh man, that definitely, that ruined the moment. That was really funny though. Oh, that's an armored Tyranitar. Hello! We're just gonna drain punch you instead of going for belly drum because I'm terrified. Oh. Dang it. Well, 
We do now KO from this range, so that's dope. Aha, man, just did just enough to two hit KO. That's awesome. Mewtwo! Ah! Yeah, we're gonna switch. I don't, I don't think Mewtwo's gonna give me a chance to, uh... Oh, what did he do to that thing? It has Intimidate? Okay, I have to look up what... Is this thing's type the same? What on earth? Shadow Mewtwo. I was not expecting that. Gosh dang it. That search did not work. There we go. Oh, Shadow Mewtwo has a Mega Evolution. That's not good. Psychic and Dark type is what it is. I'm glad I looked that up. Um, the oh, heck, what are you weak to? Psychic and Dark? It's weak to Fairy. It's weak to... Fighting's neutral. I bet I can do a lot of damage with Aura Sphere. Or Dark Pulse, actually. Both are neutral. Wait, Dark may not resist Dark. Heck, I can't remember. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I know this is kind of cheating, but not really. Um, Shadow Mewtwo is weak to Bug and Fairy. Okay, so both Dark and Fighting are neutral. So I think we go for Dark Pulse in an attempt to flinch it. There's no way we outspeed. Aura Sphere never misses. Dark Pulse has a chance to flinch. But, oh wait, I wanted Summary. They're the same strength, right? Yeah, they're exactly the same. All right, well, let's just go for... Let's just go for Aura Sphere because we have more PP. Ice Beam. Okay, we live another Ice Beam. That's not an Ice Beam, but it's still neutral. There we go. Qrem, my boy. We're gonna heavy slam you. This might actually be dumb. Because Kirim's kinda heavy. But I've committed! <laughs> oh, why do you have to know that? <laughs> Come on! Man, Gil has not really gotten to do anything in this in this playthrough. In this league. Uh <sighs> crap. All right, what do we do here? Because unfortunately, my two Pokemon that are best against him. Are also weak to ground. Oh, Raphael though. Raphael's weak. So I think we're gonna switch in Vegan, who is not weak to ice. Ice is neutral because of thick fat. I think we're gonna switch in vegan and use the turn to heal Raphael. Oh, well that was nice. And vegan may actually survive, so. Okay. Still went for earth power? Do we risk the belly drum? I think we heal here, heal back to full, just as kind of a test. He's still going for earth power. Okay, we're belly drumming. Why isn't he going for ice moves? Ice moves gets the stab. Oops, I need a max potion.
Honestly, I didn't even really need to potion at all, but. That's weird. Now I might be able to finish him off with Vian. I used a lot of potions, but I don't care, I do what I want. Flygon, not armored Flygon, interestingly enough. Oh, it's Mega. Dang it. Oh yeah, Bug Bus is not one of our weaknesses that we resist. Holy crap. <laughs> Okay, um, well, clearly we can't do anything to Bug Buzz. Do we sack Vegan to bring in a safe switch in? Or do we just switch in Lumiera? Because this thing's weak to Fairy, it's weak to Ice, it's weak to... Rock? I don't have any rock moves. Man, that's all Seed Bomb did. Because Bug Bug's not. Bug Buzz is not gonna miss. Is its ability still levitate? I don't want to do that anyways. Oh, this is tough. I think we can switch into Lumiera. Because I might, I feel like I need to preserve Vegan. Moonblast. Come on, just survive. Dragon voice? Oh, we survived! Oh, yes! Why didn't it go for Earth Power? Haxorus. No. Okay, it's Delta, but that still worked out. <laughs> yes! Oh, thank God! He doesn't know Heavy Slam or Iron Head. <laughs> oh, let's go! Volcarona! <sighs> what the heck are you weak to? You're weak to... Ground's neutral. You resist fighting. I think ground's neutral, so I think Phobia's our best call. Why do I never predict the Deltas? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh my god! I didn't even know Volcarona had a Delta. Dark poison. Oh, this actually worked out. <laughs> I actually, this, it turned out fine. <laughs> yeah, cause you're weak to, what? Ah, it is levitate. Dang it. So does this thing have no weaknesses? Yeah, it's a dark poison type with levitate. That's some darn malarkey. And maybe we'll poison it. I mean, we resist both dark and poison, right? Of course no, it's Giga Drain. Come on. Oh, so close. I don't have priority. Yep, okay. Well, we're just gonna do the same thing again. Hope for a, uh, hope for an next scissor crit. Of course, he gets a Giga Drain crit. Sucks.
Would you stop doing that? Why does Dark Pulse have to do so much? Go for Giga Drain again, dude. This is hard. If Phobia goes down, Raphael should be able to handle this thing pretty well. Crap. This is his last Pokemon, right? I have to sack Phobia. Okay. Let's think this through. <laughs> okay. It resists dark. Because dark resists dark, apparently. Which is news to me. Actually, no, I knew that. So, Aura Sphere is our best move. Let's hope this thing doesn't have a move that... Let's hope this thing doesn't have a freaking fairy move. That's Giga Drain. Okay. I can deal with that. How is that thing not dead? <laughs> doesn't matter. Son of a basket. You gotta be kidding me. Got roost, okay. It's annoying, but it's handleable. Cause he only has two full restores. I've got as many as I need. Sludge wave. Wow, that does a lot more than Giga Drain. this thing. No freaking weaknesses. How many full restores does he have? Okay, good. He didn't go for Sludge Wave. That helps. Okay, now he goes for Sludge Wave. Oh, if only Vacuum Wave killed from this range. I live a Giga Drain. I don't live a Sludge Wave. Okay, we live a Sludge Wave. I think we live a sludge wave here, and this will KO. Son of a... Come on. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh, we had to use so many potions! But we did it! <laughs> Holy crap, that was... That thing is freaking hard to beat. God. This guy with the hilariously large eyes. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, I'm just relieved, guys. I don't know what we would have done, because I don't know if Telsa outsped. That was the problem. And Sludge Life definitely would have done a lot to, uh, to Snorlax. What a battle. Maybe, maybe it seems like I have a little more to learn about all of this after all. We'll meet again. I'm sure of it. And my team will be better and stronger. Rukra. Sylvan. It's been a while. Congratulations, Michael. I can't believe it. Just recently, you were in my lab choosing your very first Pokemon. And now you're the champion of the Tauren League. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. This professor who's, like, been completely irrelevant since the very beginning of the game. Come, let's get you registered in the Hall of Fame. Sylvan. Thank you for keeping my secret for everything. Sure, Rukra, I'd do it for anyone. 
Just wish I could have helped you more. Come on, Michael. Let's go. I like that Vegan still gets to follow me. <laughs> Congratulations, Michael. This is where I record you and your team to be remembered as champions forever. But before I do, I have a message I should pass on to you. A man who has partnered with Victini asked you to meet him where you met Mew. Victini. Victini! Can you believe that? What a cool Pokemon. But yeah, he wanted to see you. He wouldn't say who he was, only that you'd know. The Infotrite City he mentioned? Yeah, okay, I know the guy. <laughs> So, uh, that's your next goal, I guess. I'm not really sure what's going on with all that. But anyways, I digress. Congratulations, Michael. You've done so much for this region, and now you've beaten its league. Excuse me. You deserve it. Let's go! Snorlax, vegan! Chandelure, Lumiera, yes, indeed. Telsa, 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 the MVP of the inverse battle. Phobia? Didn't actually do very much in the league, but I still appreciate you. Raphael, best member of the team, easily. And Haxorus, who did nothing in the league, but was very useful elsewhere. <laughs> he didn't do nothing. He did very little. But this is cool. I love seeing all six of them like this. League champion, congratulations! Woo! We did it, guys. On easy mode, but I don't care. <laughs> it was fun. Easy mode's more fun. That was just the credits. How oh, cool. I'm speeding it up because it appears it's just going to be pictures. It's not going to be a particularly fancy credit scene, but that's fine. Da -da 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 -da. Where is this music originally from? I feel like I know it from Hoenn. Wow, what is Hole on University? I don't even know what that is. Smung on Sprite Project, because they're the that those are the people who made sprites for the Gen 6 Pokemon. Well, great game. Very fun. Obviously not perfect, but you know, I enjoyed it. It just spits me out here. I don't go back home. Oh yeah, I don't have a home. <laughs> oh, that's mildly depressing. All right, guys. Well, I think it's a. This is probably where I should wrap up. Um, who knows what I'm gonna get into back in the uh, back going back to the cave? But I think this is a good place to stop, guys. This will not be the end of the series. I will be doing a lot of post game content. I hope you're excited. I certainly am. I have enjoyed this playthrough, and I'm excited to keep it going. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure you answer the comment question. Check out Into the AM, and that is all I have for now. So until next time, Pokefans, gotta catch them all!